Hello, I'm a spider. My name is Ivor. I'm Ivor the spider to you. I'm tiny, I'm Ivor, the tiniest spider, the teller of tales that are true. This bird is a heron. He's perched on a log in a garden pond, still and alone. He likes to eat fish and he likes to eat frog. Even these lava things, when they're grown. His name is Fred. He's an insect larva. Fred's grown fat. He's too big for his coat, so he climbs out. What a palava! He can't swim very well. He just floats. Please don't eat me, thinks Fred. I'm a lava. I couldn't put up much of a fight. Digging down in the muds where I'd rather be. Oh, you mind? He did give me a fright. There's a man over there. What's he doing? He's putting up some sort of a net. Frog is just viewing and chewing till the net's down when he's off like a jet. One last gulp and then that's enough, thinks Fred. It's time for my very last moat. This time I'll surprise them all, I think, as I climb out of my old brown coat. I know why the man put the net up. And who made that horrible shriek? It's that bird wanting frogs for his supper. He's got the net tangled up in his beak. That Fred's climbed out of the water to the world of spiders and bees. He slips out of his coat. Oh, that's better. With wings, I can do as I please. Here's trouble and strife. Someone's put string across the sky. It's all very well saving pond life, but how do they expect me to fly? If he forgets to fasten the net down, there'll be space for Fred to fly out. Put a smile on your face. Get rid of that frown. You can fly through that gap there. No doubt. There's a dragonfly female behind you. It looks like she likes you to me. Didn't take her long to find you. They make such a nice couple. You agree? My name is Ivor. 
I'm Ivor the spider to you. I'm tiny. I'm Ivor, the tiniest spider, the teller of tales that are true. There's a grasshopper sitting inside the flower, a young one. Well, how do I know? He can't fly yet, because he hasn't the power of his wings that are waiting to grow. When his wings have grown, he'll be able to sing in a most peculiar way. He'll scrape his legs on the edge of his wings and make chirruping sounds all the day. How dashing he looks, and quite debonair. He's called Jim. Jemima's her name. He can't sing as yet, so he jumps in the air. She joins in. What a wonderful game! child puts a paint pot onto a shelf, which frightens the starling away. Phew, that was close, says Jim to himself. It's safe now, Jemima. Let's play! that wee spider by that jar of red paint, wondering what Jim's going to do. Jim's fallen in. I hope he won't faint with the fumes from that sticky red goo. jumps onto paintings the sort children do. I'm Jim, don't you know me? He begs. No, says Jemima, I haven't a clue. You look like a red pepper with legs. Look out, Jemima. There's a starling close by. He quite fancies you for his tea. But when Jim appears, the bird says bye-bye. Bright red signals poison, you see. Where is he? Yes, he's washed himself clean, calls Jim to Jemima. Hello. Says Jemima to Jim, where on earth have you been? Never mind, time for jumping, let's go. web has been spoiled where the red paint has dripped, and I made it with skill and with care. I can't use it now that it's tangled and ripped. I'll go spin another somewhere. <laughs>